if you're watching Jermaine Morgan TV, Jermaine Morgan here. I got an email from this company called Glary Instruments, and they asked me about reviewing one of their bases. Now, I got to be honest with you. When I first saw the email, I was kind of skeptical because I do get a lot of emails from a lot of different people, and sometimes it's just, you know, spam. <laughs> so I did go on their website, and I looked at the instruments, and this base is like, I'm seeing it's like 75, 85 bucks, and I'm like, Hmm, like just kind of wondering about that. And I was very, very curious about that. And reason being, where I'm from, I know a lot of low-income people, where I'm originally from, I know a lot of low-income families who are always looking for bases to get their beginner students and that kind of thing. So I'm always on the lookout for affordable, but yet nice guitars just to get started, especially for kids if you don't know if they're going to continue in it and you don't want to invest a lot of money. So, so, you know, I just wanted to check it out and see if it was anything to it. I haven't opened the base. I did see other reviews and I, I felt good about some of the other reviews I saw, but I want to check it out for myself so I could say yay or nay to people who asked me about the bases. So I got this box in the mail. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. I was looking around, I couldn't find a pocket knife, so I was able to find a key, however, and we're gonna see how that works out. Now, one thing I can say about this base as I'm getting ready to open it is this thing is extremely light. That's a good thing, especially if it's you know a beginner player, younger player. Got a good way to get broke in, so it makes me curious as to how it will sound. So let's get it open. like Christmas. I don't care how much it costs. It's always great opening a new base. Alright, so light, lightweight base. Okay. Alright, here we go. Very beautiful instrument. I will say that. Right off the right off the base, this is a really um, nice looking instrument so let's get this box out of the way obviously this is my first time seeing this bass it's a p bass really really lightweight okay i really like this uh this natural look we got going on here and uh definitely not tuned so pull out this handy tuner and tune it on up so we got it tuned up, and I was using my Polytune by TC Electronic, if you're looking for a little handy tuner, by the way. All right, so let's plug it up and see what we got. But before I play any notes, I want to just kind of look at what we got going on. Because, you know, the price of the bass, you know, we, we are all skeptics, and we want to know what we're getting. So just from my, um, from my first uh, impression of this bass, for a $75 or $75 or $85 base, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty um, comfortable, pretty lightweight to me. Uh, I'm always skeptical when it comes to the fret work of bases that are, you know, more inexpensive bases because I have cut my hands before on uh, frets being kind of sharp on the edge. And so I'm just running my hands down or running my fingers down this frets just to kind of feel. And that's something you probably want to check for when you're checking out bases in a store, just kind of feel the fret work and, and see what they feel like. You know, make sure you're not cutting your hand if you're moving back and forth. It's um, it's not as smooth as, you know, you guys know I'm pretty uh, used to the, the uh, custom bases, more boutique bases, and it's not as smooth as those, but it's not bad, it's not rough. I have played some bases where literally I rub my hand and I have a I'm missing some skin, so I'm not missing any skin. That's a good sign. And again, I'm just really blown away at how lightweight this bass is. So let's, without further ado, let's play it. Let's see what we got going on. I see we have a volume and a tone button back here. So let's see what we got. <laughs> So right off the bat, this sounds like a pretty solid bass. I will say, I'm kind of impressed. For this to be a, a less than $100 bass, this, the sound that I'm getting out of here, granted these are new strings, but... You're not really expecting that, so let's see if we can... So now 
I have it with the tone roll all the way off and we're dealing with more of this front pickup to see what type of sound we got here. Very nice, very clean sound. I'm gonna tell you, I wouldn't be scared to actually record with this bass. I'm just I'm just keeping it real. I wouldn't be scared to record with this bass because I'm getting such a nice clean sound from it. So let's see what we have going on when we turn the tone all the way up on here. say for a inexpensive bass you really can't go wrong if you're looking for something extra if you're a parent that's looking to buy a starter bass for your child this would be a great investment and I call it an investment because if it's something that they decide to continue in this is not a bad instrument to start with and for the amount of money you're paying it's like eh, you really can't beat this for this amount of money I'm looking at the tuners on here Everything looks to be in order, man. It looks to be a pretty solid overall instrument for the money that you're spending. I mean, you can't really ask for more. And if you want to upgrade something later, you can always do that. But if you're just looking to get started as a beginner, whether you're a parent or whether you're just a person who wants another bass, you can't go wrong with this. So for what you're getting, I would say thumbs up. Definitely go for it. If you want to check them out, I'll put the link in the description. And I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Be sure to let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about this bass. And um, yeah, I like it. Take care, guys. I'm out. Peace.